Hi. Hi, this is Lisa Cooley from Darwin & Co. Yes, I'd like to schedule a viewing for the Supreme Court Terrace. Mm-hmm. Yes, our company wants to do a fashion show there. Okay, well, let me see. Mm, yes, this afternoon should work. Excellent. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Go ahead. Um, so, when are the dates you are looking for for your compensation show? Um, it's in the spring of 2020, on the 20th of March. Uh, okay, let me check my agenda. You know what? You're very lucky because we have like March is fully booked for 2020, but the only date is on the 20th, so I think you're good. Oh, great! I think this venue is perfect for us. I, I'm already thinking about where to put the stage and the sound system. It's really great. Um, I'll just head back to the office and speak to my boss and get back to you as soon as we can. Um, just there's something you need to know. Uh, we have a potential client that's also very interested in this venue. And I actually have a meeting with him right after. So my advice to you is to book it right now and make the down payment because I can't guarantee you can have it later on. Oh. Um, can you just give me a moment to speak to my boss, is that okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. She's just not answering. Um, do you know what? I think we just go ahead and book it. I think the venue is just perfect for us. You sure? Okay. Um, that's perfect for me. We can just settle this right now and get on with the paper. Sure. So, this is Deborah, you just won't believe what just happened. You know you shouldn't act before entering, but I guess go ahead and just take a seat. Oh, come on, Deb. I'm so excited about the venue. I just got back from the National Gallery and booked to the Supreme Court Terrace for our venue. Isn't that exciting? You did what? I managed to secure the National Gallery for our show. Isn't that exciting? Do you want to see some pictures? No, Lisa, that's not the point here. Why didn't you consult me first? You had no right to bypass me this way. But I tried to get a hold of you and just weren't picking up. I had to make a quick decision, otherwise we'd have lost a venue. It's, I'm sure you could take a look, you love it. No, 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 cancel that booking immediately. You do not make such decisions without my approval. That's not how it works here. You're joking, right? If we cancel the booking, we'll lose a down payment. I don't think that's a good idea. You already made the down payment without consulting me? Who do you think you are, Lisa? This isn't the first time you're making unilateral decisions. Seriously? What are we employees to you? Do you even respect us? We have no voice here. All you do is criticize and demand us. It's all about you. You, you, you. Well, sure, go look. Chi rantation. Enough, Lisa. No. Everybody here is too afraid to speak up. Do you remember the last fashion show? Joey's idea was brilliant. And you just shot it down without much deliberation. And nobody raised it against you for the fear of offending you. We're all human. We need a voice. You know what? I don't want to hear from you anymore. Get back to your office now. So I would like to apologize for my behavior earlier. It's definitely uncalled for. I don't want you to ever feel as though you don't have a voice here in our company. And we've definitely um, appreciated and value all of your work that you've done so far. And so with that being said, I would like to give you a formal position in charge of the fashion show. And so um, just for future references, I would hope that you would take initiative of different projects, but then with that being said, I would want you to come talk to me and like make sure that you're keeping me in the loop with everything that you decide that you want to do. And so, yeah. And if you have any further questions, you can definitely find me in my office. But you have a moment? It appears as though I do. Please sit down. Thank you. First of all, I really wanted to apologize about how I acted earlier. It was totally out of line and I don't want to do that again. 
Okay, well, with that being said, then I hope that this doesn't occur in the future. And so, um, in order to also make sure that we're promoting and we're fostering collaboration among our employees, we decided to instill a feedback system. And so, you should be hearing more about that in the weeks to come in your email. That sounds great. An open communication channel will really help the company out. Now, with regards to what you mentioned earlier about the job offer, can you give me some more details? Yeah, definitely. So as far as your roles and your responsibilities, you're going to be um, taking charge.